for another exciting, <laughs> riveting episode of My Sister Can't Cook. We also have the El Rancho Restaurant in Pine Top. And today... And... And My Sister Can't Cook Catering. And... And our children. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, today, Rika is going to be in charge of the show. Well. She's in charge of the show when she's not in charge of the show. <laughs> so we're just going to be her little minions... Kind of like those little monkeys oh. that flew around on the Wizard of Oz. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you were afraid of those, so you yeah. should be afraid of me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're <laughs> making crepes today, and um, I'm sure you guys remember. We're making savory crepes or yeah. sweet crepes? We're making or both. 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 Oh. We're making both, but um, I just remember going to Shane's yeah. house, and Shane Hall would make, he made the crepes, right? He did the crepes, and do you remember that show? Mm -hmm. Were you sleeping? I'm right sure now, I so. was sleeping. So anyway, to I drown always, you two out. Yeah. <laughs> I always have a fond memory of whenever we make crepes or eat crepes because it reminds us of, of kind of a family gathering. It was a family tradition for them to make crepes. So anyway. and feed us and feed <laughs> us, <laughs> which you know. Anyway, um, the crepes are really easy. They're very simple to make. People get afraid of them, but they're really very very simple, and they they're a little time consuming because you have to make each one. You know, you're making each one, but it's so much better. I know you can go down to the store and just buy some, but. Oh, you God. have enough. We're gonna make enough batter that the cameraman and the three of us. Well, there'll break. definitely be enough for us. I don't know about <laughs> them, but definitely for us. We'll leave uh, you a bite. Yeah. So basically, we'll start with the the batter of the crepes. And Savannah has uh, a cup of flour. I have prosciutto in front of me. We're oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. That. I got all yeah. excited. It's and like bacon. We're just gonna do our, throw ours in the blender, but do your liquid first because if you do your flour first, then it tends to get. Which no. liquid would you like me to? We have a cup and a half of milk. Juice. Milk. And Juice. I have two tablespoons of butter that have been melted and cooled, and she's going to put those in there. Ooh, Make sure they get that, that on camera. While she's doing that, so we want the huevos next. Um, or do the the flour next, and you're going to... How much flour? It's a cup and a half of flour, and just kind of slowly just slow, do like a cup, and then blend it, and then maybe do... So that way it doesn't get all... Lump. And then just kind of blend it out a little bit. Lumpy? Lumpy. 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 Okay, I'm gonna blend. So, here we go. Just for, just to... <laughs> okay. Okay, so she's gonna finish that with the flour. Cheryl, if you could take some red onion and garlic, cut up maybe half red onion, small pieces, because we're gonna make a... a for the savory part, what we're gonna do is we're going to... I was at the grocery store last night. Quit talking. <laughs> I want the blender to go over the top of her. Oh. I, don't it I don't think it would. Do you want your eggs yeah. in there now? Yeah, do the eggs next. And remember to crack your eggs in something before you put them in whatever you're putting them in. That way, in case you have shells, you can you get the shell, shell issues. Or oh. we could do, do you remember the one episode when Cheryl was trying to show us how to... No, she was. Oh. <laughs> and remember, I just stuck my finger in it and just grabbed the egg anyway, shell out usually of Usually that doesn't work so well. But for the savory part, we are going to make, we're going to start kind of with a bechamel sauce, which is a very... talking. Take this to work. <laughs> so that way, when she starts talking, I can just say, Stop talking! Press it. So just mix it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do a bechamel sauce, which is just um, butter and. Um, what do you want it to look like? Yeah, it's a real, it's a real uh, thin batter, the uh, crepe batter. Good. Anyway, I'm sorry, the bechamel sauce. Uh, we start with uh, butter and flour, and we kind of make a roux, and we'll cook it for about three minutes because we want it to get brown, because then it really gets a nice flavor to it, and it cooks out the flour flavor, because if you don't cook it, yeah. then it, it tastes like flour, and you don't want that. Um, and then we will, uh, but we'll saute our onions and garlic. I always start everything with onions and garlic. That's kind of my thing. Uh, do you want to do the grapes, crepes or do you want me to... I'll, I'll go ahead and start the crepes. So what I have over here is... Are you starting your bechamel first? No, I'm going to start the crepes first because okay. they'll take a little while to cook. I have a non-stick skillet and I'm just going to add a little bit of butter to it. But I won't have to add much more... Uh, my hands a little too Oh my god, that is your strong. <laughs> what are you doing? She's talking about 
know how strong the onions are. I made oh, some. Making me cry. I made some big French onion soup yesterday for Mom, Bill, and everybody. Ooh, strong onions. Strong head. Did you use white? I use five. I use different colors. Oh, okay. And then when you guys get done with that, the um, shrimp, you can take the tail off the shrimp and cut it into pieces. So my butter is a little too. You don't want it to be brown like that. You don't want brown butter? Well, not for the crepes, because otherwise your crepe will turn around. So your pan's a little too hot, so I'll just wipe that out and we'll see what happens. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take a couple tablespoons of this. And on this, if you're making just sweet yeah, crepes, see. you can add sugar into it. Uh -huh. Why didn't we add sugar right now? Because I'm making this. Oh, you're making both. First. Okay. So it's going to... Shrimp and sugar? Come on now. Sugar. It's gonna uh, dry. The batter's almost going to dry really quickly, and then what we'll do is we'll just flip it over. What size pan are you using? I'm using the small one. The small, okay. so like a six inch, or an eight inch, inch pan. Eight inch, yeah. And d definitely needs to be a Teflon coated. Definitely needs to be a Teflon coated because otherwise you're gonna have. So look, so it's really dry. I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna just cook it for about another 10 to 15 seconds. But we'll use Talia's plate here. Um, you don't want to overcook it because what'll happen is it'll get really crispy, and you don't want crisp. You don't want crispy crepes. Want crisp, crispy crepes. Sib, look what I bought. Marshmallow oh. cream. We're not gonna make dessert on my uh, episode. We're just gonna eat the marshmallow cream out of the thing. <laughs> out of the you think I'm laughing or <laughs> what? Flying. I'm laughing and lying all at the same time. How are you guys doing over there? Fine. How far down do you want these dice? Like well, really fine, or just yeah. That way we don't have to cook them as long. Okay. And you don't want you don't want them. Um, of course, can I have the smallest cutting board for the onions? I have more onions on the countertop than on the board. Fabulous job. I know. <laughs> and for it to, I'm gonna cook the. You know what? I was kind of thinking about. Oh, the prosciutto, Sibby. Will you cut that up? Cause I want to cook that. Oh, that garlic in here. Me and, me and bacon fat. I don't know if I can get close to it. Yeah. Without and you don't have to do, I mean, this is something you can always do with chicken or something, but I just thought, you know, I always like a combination of prosciutto and shrimp and different cheese. Flavor. And how, <laughs> how big do you want the, the prosciutto? Um, Are we going to cook that down too? Yeah. So, you know. Then Julian? Yeah. Julian, Julian. Now, I saw her sharpening knives before we started. Uh, can you see that it really I know, works? Hey, give me the, um, do you have the garlic, too? It's under there. Okay. And I'm going to cook these down. I'm going to clean my mess up. Oh, that's okay. That's a lot of, it, it looks like a lot of onion, but it, the, it's red onion. If you don't, if you're using a white onion or a yellow onion, uh, use much less because they have a really, really strong flavor and they'll overtake everything. Um, so the red onion's okay like that. And you said to take the tails off the shrimp, but am I cutting the shrimp up at all? Yeah, I want to cut the shrimp up that way. Okay. That way every mouthful you get a bite. Yes. A bite. You don't want to waste it. Yes. And you have your bites. Mm How -hmm. you coming with that uh, knife? Yeah. That baby knife. That would have been easier to rip it apart <laughs> with my hands. Do you want some scissors? No, we're good. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. I've got four more cuts. Do you need scissors? Would you like the scissors at the back of your back? Now, now, sisters. Um, and then I'm not going to salt and pepper this until until we take it out and we're done with it because the prosciutto is really salty and I don't want to over salt. Over we salty. never over -gee. You could always put in, but you can't take out. Right. So, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Problem. Yeah. yeah. We just take out a little left more than we put in. And then, what, how are you, Sibby? What are you doing? I'm fabulous. I'm trying to clean up Rika Cheryl's mess. Okay, why don't you shred some of the Romano? And then the cheese, you can use whatever you have in the house. I mean, uh, maybe not the Velveeta cheese. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, she does have some in the fridge. She was going to uh, make grilled cheese sandwiches for her cooking episode time. Uh, oh, that sounds good. Uh, you could use um, Parmesan, Reggiano, you could use mozzarella, you could use cheddar, you could really use whatever your family likes. But the Romano is pretty mild and it, it has a good flavor to it. And then I just have this small, the small cheddar there for you. Thank you. 
I did, said. I did new kind of push-ups yesterday, so my arm won't have the wave that goes on into infinity and beyond. So I don't know if I'll be able to break this. Jesus. <laughs> You're a weakling. Oh my cow. I don't have big muscles like Cheryl. I've been there pretty good for that sheet shredder. So Mika, you're doing, you're still sauteing down the onions and the garlic. Yeah. And then um, and you're continuing to make your crepes as yeah. well as we go. Okay. Yeah. And then for the sweet, the sweet, um, we just mixed it right here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's this basil for, sister? We're oh, we're gonna, to we're gonna add that into the sauce at the end. So do you want her to chop some up? Uh, yeah, you could, um, do you want a julie chefinade? Chefinade. Oh, I'll be chefinade. Don't ask her to spell it. There's a flower. flower. Oh look, it's the Christmas miracle. What is it? There's a flower. I don't think I've ever seen. Have you never grown oh, basil? Flower. Oh. I, I've never let it go to flower oh. to see. I don't, doesn't it kind of, you need to wash that. It's just really, I'll just wipe it with the towel. How much do you want? To, I don't know, more is better. Okay. Yeah, it's basil. I'm just turning my board over. I'll wipe the knife down. I'm sure the professionals don't do that on their show. They probably have a little wiper person that comes in and wipes it. Probably. And does their hair, if you've noticed. We kind hey, of have bad hair hey. days today. We're all entitled to those. <laughs> you know, I was going to do sweet. I don't know if I'll have time to do sweet. What do you think? Um, hmm. Well, we can't, yeah. do a show. we can't do a show without any sweet stuff. Well, if you have some chocolate, can't we just dip fruit in it and call that a dessert? <laughs> or how are you on the cheese? Then? I'm, do I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> For the condition that she's in. Yeah. Okay. Well, then why don't you... God, that smells good. Doesn't it? Um, I have some heavy whipping cream. You know, I'm going to start with... A heavy it whipping cream. It was... Um, wasn't... Sometimes this can be really expensive, and it wasn't really that very expensive. Oh, it's because there's a recall on it or anything that we should be aware of. It was out of date February 12th. So, so Cindy, I'll let you, after you, or Cheryl, one of you can whip up some heavy whipping cream. Okay. You're going to have to do that. My tribe says, oh, and then sure, we'll, give her the power We'll tool. mix that with the, I've got some um, white chocolate that I've melted on the oven, and we'll mix that. We'll put it in some crepes, and we'll put, I've got some berries there okay. and bananas. And we How can much, mix, like, a oh, quart of cup? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, so how much queso would she, she like? She says whatever, and then I'll do it, and then wrong. she'll be upset because uh, that's not what she wanted. Rita, how much um, cheese do you want? Probably, how much do you have? Seven cups. <laughs> not that's quite. Fine. I'm not thinking. I'm not quite way. there. It's just... We have to make at least six crepes. I don't want mine being gypped. I don't care if the boys don't get a lot of cheese, but. All right. Okay. And, and it's, they're not perfect. They're, you know. What? We're going to roll them on. We're going to roll them, so. Okay, I'm going to make noise. Okay, I won't talk. Oh, <laughs> there's a thought. <laughs> with this blender. Well then, I can't help it if your bowl is too tall for your blender. Pull it out. Or you can whip it by hand. We can put your hand in. Do you want to whip it by hand? Uh, or we'll we just, uh, we're thinking we want to whip you by hand, yeah. but... <laughs> really? <laughs> a really nerdish. <laughs> From Ronco, all the kids are going to want one. Okay, so I'm going to take this out of the pan, and I'm going to no, put all this good stuff in the pan, because I'm going to kind of deglaze it in a sense, but, you know. Okay. She's using her $5 wood. So maybe we should, uh... Let me go ahead and whip this, and then you can continue on, and then we'll, we'll come right back. Okay, we're back, so we can come boss us around a little more while you didn't see us. She was back, screen having a My pants are hot, my pants are hot. <laughs> so we're going to go first to Rika, so she can tell you how hot her pants are. Oh, I thought she was going to hit me. Um, I'm doing the sweet crepes now, and so what I did was I just added a tablespoon of sugar, and then I added, um, you can add whatever you want, but I added ground cardamom, which is a really nice spice that yeah. gives it a good like kind of um, exotic flavor. And so I'm almost Because we're so exotic. We have to use exotic And flavors. then Cheryl, how's your So I finished whipping the heavy cream till it got pretty good and thick before it turned to butter. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the melted white chocolate that she put in on a double broiler. Rika, how much white chocolate do you think you have? Um, I have probably about a cup here. Okay. So there's that. So if you incorporated the white chocolate right into the heavy whipping cream, it would break it completely and probably liquefy it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I so I just have a bowl that I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons, and I, actually one good heaping tablespoon into this bowl, and then I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some of this heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna mix them together just to kind of um, to kind of pull that white chocolate down before we add it back into that bowl. I'm wanting you to slice your fancy vanilla beans Oh, that's right. right. So we do have a nice beautiful vanilla bean. Usually you can find you can find these at any grocery really right now. Um, and usually there's three or four. They stuff it in a bottle. They're, they're pretty pricey, but it makes such a wonderful it's flavor really than good. just regular vanilla. And it's extra. so cool to see the little beans in your. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let, run my lot. Run my life. I'm gonna run, run your my life, life over that bean. I'm gonna run my knife across the bean, and it opens it up. And all the seeds are inside this pot. And I'm just gonna take a butter knife, or whatever you have, even your finger, and just scrape these beans into, I don't know if you can see that from now. Yeah, see how pretty that is? I'm just, I'm just scraping it right into the, the whipping cream that we did, just to give it a nice flavor. And Simeon is cutting some strawberries, and looks like blackberries that we have, just to put inside the crepe. Uh, just to, for our sweet yeah. dish. The sweetness is going to come from the um, melted white chocolate. Well, yeah, but you know. We have one healthy thing, right? The, the berry. Yeah, that's being it. healthy. Rika, can you do anything left over with this pod? Can you put it in sugar? Oh, I always put mine in my sugar. Okay. So, so even after you scrape the meat, yeah, I just open? throw it in my sugar and back if you look. Sugar smell really, really, really nice. Really, really good. So or like maybe in your underwear drawer. Coffee whatever. or a tea yeah. drinker? Like, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, you just, just down. I just okay. have it in there in the bottom of my sugar. So I think I've scraped about everything I can on it. And it makes your sugar smell good. Let me go back to this. So now, over here, I added my flour to my butter. And I'm just cooking this down and see how it's turning, it's turning brown. The longer you can cook this, the better, because then it just really gets a good flavor to it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got a cup and a half of milk, so I'm gonna add my milk to it, kinda slowly. Rika, did you salt and pepper your roux? No, I haven't done anything to it, because the, um, the prosciutto is really, really, really salty, and I don't wanna overdo it. Remember, we can put in, but we can't take out. Right. We have to have that last time we did Okay. Now I just added the rest of the white chocolate into the whipping cream. And it kind of deflates the whipping cream a little bit, but not much. I'll make sure it's a These are the sweet, the sweet ones. That's perfect. Good. So do you have a plate that you want I had on? a plate. That plate was not for those. No. Darn it. So we're just gonna assemble the crepe while we can continue on the oven. So, on the stove. So I've got my uh, mixture of egg fries with the prosciutto and the onions and garlic. And I added my shrimp to it. And I've got my sauce that I'm just gonna cook here a little bit more. Mika, is there a wrong or right side to the crepes? Um, the, the, the Taylor blonder side goes on the inside. Goes on the inside, and then the cook. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter though, really. It's however you want to do it. Is that how's that taste? I haven't tried it yet. I'm afraid if I try it, I'll eat the whole thing. Do we want to roll it like? Oh or my just goodness! Spread it and fold it. Isn't that too much? Oh, I thought we would just put the berries on top. Or do uh, however, you can do. Uh -huh. You can stack I'm them. Mine. Yours okay, here you do yours how you want. I'll do mine how I want. How's that? That's not difficult. Mine's gonna be way prettier because see, you have yours on the wrong side. Yeah, whatever. Okay, guys, don't fight over this. We can stuff. fight over everything. You, you just I think you have everything. You got your hands full back there. Your little bechamel. Well, I was 
going to wrap mine in a pretty package. And I have the basil here that they chopped. So as soon as this gets to the thickness that I want it to get to, I'll add the basil. Are we using all of these? Those you have some. The oh, you have. Okay. These are the. Those were the sweet. Just making sure. I'm going to finish adding my milk in there. And then I'm going to turn this up. I'm gonna let it simmer for a minute. Here are the savory. Do you have a plate for the savory? We will, lady. Oh, you guys aren't doing that right. I'll be quiet. That's not the right Get way. Get back to the stove, lady. Holy yeah. shit. Hey, wow. don't take our stuff away. Oh my gosh. That, did you guys taste this? Uh, I did with a knife. It was really good. My hands are all dirty. I need to clean my plate. Mm. Yeah, mine is way more beautiful than yours. Silly. Are you ready for your savory stuff yet? You think that's Mama. beautiful? Of Please. course it is. Good. Yeah. There's my sweet crepes. Do you need this anymore? Yes. Oh, oh we were going to do asparagus. We never got around to asparagus. Oh. Well, that's a vegetable. That's we, a vegetable. We, we, we covered it with the fruit here. We've got, we've got the four main food groups. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> We've got our dairy. We, we have got the food. We got some. We have the bread. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, we need. Yeah, I guess we have everything, huh? Okay. So these crepes that you look, got here are the savory ones, right? Yeah. And this. I'm just waiting for my sauce to thicken. Okay. Great. So you pan. So you sauteed the shrimp and the pancetta. Yeah. You added it to the red onion and the garlic. Right? Yeah. Okay. And now you're cooking down the bechamel. I'm cooking mm -hmm. down the bechamel. Okay. Sand, or well, you know, kind of bechamel. All right. Okay, TV Land, you decide. Those are ugly. Shrill! I was helping. No, you gooed my plate. No, that was already like. Uh, All right, you guys have a plate ready for this? Yeah, uh, Cheryl's gonna grab one. Okay. It's good. Taste it. Taste what? I didn't think we should taste it on on TV. What? Mm -hmm. What did we taste it? Nothing. Mm -hmm. You? She has one already. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Look, she can't even talk. She can't talk. This is really good, you guys. It's not too sweet, but just enough. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Just a hint. Just a hint. Look, there's one you can eat before she comes back. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm gonna add my cheese to my sauce. It's boiling. Okay. The Romano? Yeah. Or should yeah. Actually I'm gonna add my this stuff first, I think. Use your words, what stuff? Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the, the shrimp and the gooey the prosciutto okay. and the onion. Prosciutto. Now we have prosciutto. Not prosciutto, but prosciutto. Or prosciutto. Prosciutto. Okay. She doesn't know. Oh my goodness. So you added all that. Yeah. And now you're adding the cheese. Now I'm adding the cheese. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should have a little cheese to sprinkle on top. So yeah. I think you need to maybe work on that. Because y'all have grated the whole time we were off camera. Okay, more cheese. Okay, and I'm adding my basil. I'll right save inside. some basil so we can sprinkle that on top. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so good. Okay. Okay. I'm almost there. I'm starving. My mouth is watering. I know. The, the camera men are pretty much gonna have to leap over this countertop if they think they're getting any food today. We're gonna fight them for it. We'll give them some. What are you milk. doing with that transformer plate? Hey, I'm making it. It was a plate. That's Dimitri's plate. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Are we ready? Do you have spoons? Uh, no. Okay, Spoondola. We need the spoondala. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, go ahead, do that. Sid, did you we need more plates. Did, did you shred some cheese? So do you want to, to roll? How do you want to, how do you, how do you want to present it? Well, the, obviously the, the, um, the cream and everything that's gonna fall out. So that's all right. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like yeah. thick like how the right. would be. See? Okay. Look at it. An assembly line. Go, 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 go. And then put a little cheese on top of it, or maybe a little more sauce. Give it a oh, little yeah. bit of, and a little bit of cheese. Good. More, more basil. More basil. Okay. So, if you make these, your husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or sister, brother, whatever, will think that you're fabulous because you Unless are. Unless it's this sister, we will not think she's fabulous. We will, Rika. Okay. <sighs> anyway, um, we hope you try this for your family and friends. And it's really easy, very simple, and even 
take your own twist on it. If you don't like seafood or if you do tofu, you can do tofu or shrimp or chicken, beef, anything you want or Spam. just veggies. Spam. Grandma might like that. Okay. All right. Anyway, thanks for being with us. Have a great day and hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.